Hello all, welcome to this session. In this session, I am going to answer software testing interview question 102. That is, what is Sprint Zero? Let me answer. Whenever you get this question in the interviews, you have to be careful and answer this question in a diplomatic manner. Why you have to answer this question in a diplomatic manner? I'll explain now. So what is Sprint Zero? As per Scrum, that is as per Agile Scrum methodology, there is no term like Sprint Zero. You may be surprised. They're asking you a question, what is Sprint Zero? But here I'm saying that as per Scrum methodology, as per Agile Scrum methodology, there is nothing like Sprint Zero. There is no term like Sprint Zero. Then why these interview interviewers are asking you this question when there is no term like Sprint Zero in the Agile Scrum methodology? I'll explain. So you already know in Agile projects, how the work will be done in Agile Scrum methodology following projects, how the work will be done in the form of sprints. Okay, sprint, every sprint is an iteration. Okay, a time bound iteration. You see, this is the sprint one. Let's say this is sprint one. The work will be done in the Agile Scrum methodology projects in the form of sprints. So here sprint one is nothing but an iteration you can say. So in this iteration, some portion of the work will be done. The duration of this iteration will be from one week to four weeks. Okay, duration of this iteration will be from one week to four weeks. After this sprint one is completed, then sprint two will start. The next iteration will start, that is sprint two. This also will have the same duration of the sprint one, okay? So if the sprint one is of two weeks, the sprint two also will be two weeks, okay? The second iteration. Then, then next iteration. Then next iteration, that's sprint three, sprint four, sprint five, like this, the work will continue. The actual work is happening in the form of sprints. But what happens in some projects is, what happens in some projects is, before this actual work, which is done in this uh, sprints, okay, starts, Okay, before this actual work that has to be done in the sprint starts, what the project team will do is here, the project team will, before the actual sprint start, the project team will spend some time here on getting some things ready, guys, okay? The project team may spend some time in something like setting up the environments, getting the required number of people who need to work on the projects, conducting trainings so that they can, uh, if uh, if the people who are assigned to the project doesn't have the necessary skills to work on the project, they have to provide the trainings and uh, they have to figure out the tools. They have to investigate and figure out the tools and many other stuff. This kind of prerequisite stuff, okay? The project team, before actually starting the work in the form of sprints here, okay? Before starting their work in the form of sprints here, they may have to spend some time in advance, okay? Before the actual work starts, they have to spend some time doing all this kind of stuff like uh, setting up the environment, getting the people for the project, conducting trainings and figuring out, uh, out tools and all those stuff, okay? So these activities, these are, this I can call them as prerequisite activities or initial phase activities, whatever you call, they will take some time, okay? They take some time. So they have spent some time. So, so this project team, Okay, before starting their actual work in the form of sprints, have spent some time on getting these things ready. So you see in Agile, we have to name it something, right? So these project team who are actually spending this time before actually starting working, right? They are giving a name for this particular time spent as sprint zero. They are giving it as sprint zero. But as per Agile Scrum methodology, there is no term like sprint zero, but still the Agile project team before starting their actual work in the form of sprints, they are spending some time and this time they are giving the name as sprint zero. But this is not official. They are unofficially giving it, even though there is nothing like sprint zero in Agile Scrum, but this project team is unofficially, okay? There are some projects out there, they call sprint zero, sprint zero, okay? But in reality, sprint zero doesn't exist, okay? They are unofficially naming it, guys, okay? So it's an unofficial word followed in the industry, okay? So, but as per the Agile Scrum methodology, there is no term like Sprint Zero, but still the project team who are spending some prerequisite stuff on getting things ready, right? Before the actual work starts in the form of Sprints, right? They are giving this particular phase of the time that they are spending in getting the things ready as Sprint Zero, okay? But again, as per the Agile, as per the Agile, Sprint has to produce some work, okay? The Sprint has to produce some work. Where the work will be produced? From the Sprint one onwards, here the work will be by the end of the sprint one, some work will be done, okay? Some some portion of the software will be ready. And after the end of the sprint two, some other portion, okay? It will keep on incrementing like the software will keep on incrementing. But here, 
So after the sprint zero, will there any product available here? Will there be any software ready here? No. So as per agile, sprint has to produce some work. Here there is no work produced. These are all getting things ready things. This is not the actual work. So there is no work produced. That's why agile is strictly stating that there is nothing like sprint zero. Okay. If you have to name that as sprint, it has to produce some work, which sprint zero is not actually producing. And hence, sprint zero is an unofficial term given by some projects. Okay. Just for their satisfaction, they are giving by uh, giving this kind of term known as sprint zero. But in reality, as per the agile scrum methodology, there is no term like sprint zero, guys. Okay. As no work can be produced in sprint zero, there is no term like sprint zero. And instead, guys, instead, if you have to officially call, officially give some name to this particular thing that you are doing before starting your actual work in the form of sprints, right? If you want to give some name to this time, instead of calling that as sprint zero, you can call that as discovery phase or inception phase or initialization phase. But sprint zero is not a good thing, okay? Though some projects are calling it, it's better to call that as inception phase or discovery phase and initialization phase, okay? Instead of calling that as sprint zero. So you got the clarity, right? Why you have to answer this question in a diplomatic manner when you get this question in the interviews now, right? There is no time like sprint zero in agile scrum dictionary. So this unofficially called term. So if you want to officially mention this particular thing, right? Then you have to instead call that as discovery phase or inception phase or initialization phase instead of calling that as sprint zero. If you still want to, uh, unofficially do it, you have to call that as sprint zero, but it is an unofficial term, guys. Okay. So, this is how, guys, you have to diplomatic diplomatically answer this question when you get this in the interview. What is sprint zero? You have to diplomatically answer, and you should be very careful while answering. So, that's all for this session. In the next session, I'm going to answer another software testing interview question for you. Till then, see you. Bye bye.